Hey everyone, it's Kurt, and uh, this is the beginning of a few videos about VATSIM. For those of you that don't know, VATSIM is an online air traffic control service, uh, all volunteer, they're not pros, and it's free for you. Um, I think a lot of people get a little bit nervous or afraid of VATSIM, they think it's harder than it is, and I think a lot of that goes down to the way they present themselves on their website. All their documentation is formatted like it is... Uh, uh, official stuff from the FAA or other authorities, and so it's a little bit of a dry read. The service itself, though, is a lot of fun, and it's not anywhere near as complicated as you might be led to believe. However, uh, there are a lot of opinions about it, and there are people out there that suggest that it's not very good because the controllers are not professional or whatever, and there are a lot of people who suggest that it is very good. Uh, I fall in the middle. I think it's generally pretty good. There are a few controllers who aren't particularly good, but <clears throat> They're few and far between, honestly. Most of the guys are trying really hard. Um, it doesn't always run smoothly. That's partially a factor of the pilots, and that's what we are going to try to address a little bit in these videos, because if you haven't used the service or if you've only used it minimally, I'm going to try to help you to get a better start in it so that you can enjoy it, you can be a good pilot within it, and you add fun instead of adding headaches. We'll see how we do, right? <laughs> um so anyway, the video is intended as a, or the series of videos, it was originally one video, but it grew out of hand. Um, the video is intended to serve as a simple overview for you. Um, if you've thought about getting in there, but you've been afraid for one reason or another, or maybe you used it briefly and, and had a bad time and left, uh, this is for you. If you're already using it successfully and having a lot of fun, you, this may this video may not have much for you. Um, it may, so I appreciate your view either way. Um, but just be prepared that this is really aimed at uh, at new people. And if you're experienced with the service, uh, I don't know how much you'll get from it. But maybe I'll touch on something new. Who knows? Everything you need to get started with VATSIM is available on their website. It's VATSIM.net, and I will try to get a comprehensive list of links into the description on these videos. Um, but at VATSIM.net, uh, if you decide to join, um, first you're going to register. It does require a real name. Um, <clears throat> you need to pass a basic written exam that's um, kind of similar to the to the actual, uh, in the United States, the FAA uh, private pilot exam. It's not as comprehensive. It doesn't get into, you know, 9 million different topics. It really is sticking with airspace, air traffic control, and some basics. Um, if you don't know those things, then... The perp, you know, this test is going to hopefully get you to learn it because you're going to enjoy the system better and you're going to function better within the system if you understand these basics. The test is completely open book. You can have the website open on one side of the page and the reference material on the other side and just plug it in, but try to learn from it because if you're not learning from it, you're just going to get into the system and you're going to have a bad time, and that's not really what anybody's here for. The test is really the only <clears throat> the only thing stopping anybody from joining the uh the service. But once you're in there, um, the VATSIM website has a great deal of uh, training material in there that gets into all sorts of different areas of, uh, of how air traffic control systems work and what you need to do, what you need to know as a pilot in order to operate within it. It's actually really good information. And for people who are serious about their flight simming hobby, it's a great resource, honestly. The key to all of this, though, is that if you want to use online air traffic control, you do need to understand how it works. Um, if you don't want to take the time to learn that, then VATSIM isn't for you. Uh, it's simple like that. Don't don't even try. You have to want to learn it. Um, and it's not the software. The software is a piece of cake. It's how air traffic control works. It's how airspace works. Learn that stuff. It isn't hard, really. But it does require some, some, uh, some effort on, on your part. Uh, if you're just looking to have people talking to you while you fly, then go join a multiplayer lobby and have a good time. But uh, this is this is different. So after you've got your registration taken care of, the next thing that you're going to need to do on the VATSIM website is get your pilot client software. Um, that can be found under resources on their website, pilot clients. You can click on that. It gets you the list of all the different ones that are uh, in use. Um, I'm using vPilot, so you just click on this link and it'll get the software for you. vPilot's pretty easy to configure and I will show you how right now. All right, so let's take a look 
at the uh, vPilot interface that you use for VATSIM. Uh, most people use this. There's some other ones I'm not familiar with them, so I'll just real briefly talk about this one. Um, one of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you set up immediately is uh, your audio settings. So when you do that, uh, you'll come into settings and then under audio. Uh, you need to make sure that you have the microphone you're going to be using set up and you need to make sure that your output is correct. Um, you can adjust the output and the microphone volume down here. What you want to do is make sure you see this uh, this little volume bar here that's re recording what I'm saying right now. And you want to make sure that it gets into the green when you're speaking normally, but it doesn't peak into the red. Um, that's when your audio will start to break up on you and it can, it can be irritating for everybody. The other thing you want to set up in here is the push to, uh, push to talk, um, which is going to be the button uh, on your system that you push when you're talking to your air traffic controller. So um, all you need to do that is come in here, click set new PTT button, and press the button you want it to be. Simple as that. Other than that, there's really not much to do in here. Um, you can set up different model matching and one, this is uh, one of the things that uh, I like about um, what's the name of the, the product I'm trying to think of um, hang on I have it here uh, FSLTL uh, traffic if you use FSLTL and I'll try to get a link in the description for you for FSLTL um, normally that's a traffic injector that you use for offline stuff when you're flying uh, in the network you turn off all of your external traffic. So you don't use the Microsoft AI traffic, you don't use Microsoft uh, online, and you don't uh, you don't run any other traffic injectors. But what FSLTL does is it, inject, or it uh, has model matching in there. So what model matching is, by default, if you're flying around in VATSIM and you don't have any kind of model matching, you just get generic airplanes to represent the other pilots. But if you use a good uh, model matching software, what it'll do is bring in simplified models of all the different types of airplanes that it knows about. So FSLTL has hundreds and, well, 3,300 apparently different uh, models. And these aren't all different airplanes. They're, uh, each livery counts separately. So, um, But anyways, it has lots of them. And it's great because when you show up at an airport and somebody's coming in as an American flight or as an, you know, uh, Alitalia or whoever they are, th they'll be in the appropriate airplane with the appropriate uh, livery on the plane, which adds a lot to the to the process. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap up this video here, keep it short. Um, the next video will be uh, a quick VFR flight to give you some introduction into actually talking with the flight uh, air traffic control and how to operate you know, within the system in kind of a more real sense. So um, just to kind of recap the things that I wanted to get across today, and I hope that I did, is that this service is not uh, scary. <laughs> um, it's not particularly hard, but you do want to, uh, to take it seriously if you're going to participate. If you're just looking for uh, goofing around in a multiplayer scenario, this isn't the thing. Um, I hope that from this you now understand uh, how to get into the system, um, where where to get your uh, the vPilot software or the other software that you're going to be using um, to, to talk to the controllers and, and the generics of how to get that set up. Uh, I hope that all of this uh, has you primed a little bit, maybe uh, excited to give it a try. I don't know. Um, but I will do my best to continue to help you out. And the next video should come quickly. I have it all uh, in the can, as the, <laughs> as the TV people say. Uh, it's, it's all filmed. It's all ready. I'm just editing. So hopefully within a couple of days uh, after this video, the next one will show up. And that will be a little bit of VFR flying I did at Kona, Hawaii on a very quiet day, which is a great way to do your first flight in VATSIM. Uh, pick a quiet airport that has a tower controller to talk to and just do some basic air work. Anyways, um, I will catch you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one a lot. Please leave me any comments. Uh, as far as things that you might want to know about the network while we're getting into these. And um, I will try to make sure all the links are in the, in the description. So I look forward to talking to you some more, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.